What it do, man? It's your boy, Battle Truth. Coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. So I was listening to some of the things that were being said not too long ago on Spaces. Truthful was addressing some things, him and Fonz and them, about the new Midwest movement um, and saying, you know, it was a comparison with the old new Mid the old Midwest movement and what's going on now with the new Midwest movement. I was there the whole step of the way. I'm just going to keep it 100. I was there the whole step of the way. I'm going to keep it 100. And y'all already know what was going on. I was to be the blogger of the new Midwest movement. That was going to be me behind that whole thing before the URL got involved. And seeing what was going to get big, went behind the scenes, pulled a couple strings, and tried to disconnect it because he knew <laughs> they knew what I was on. They know I know. I ain't no young boy. They know I know, okay? They know I know where the first Midwest movement went wrong at, okay? And it's crazy that Verb gonna be doing all that talking about that, but he don't like to keep it 100. He's sitting up there faking and fronting in the faces, but he ain't really calling it like it is and what's real. This new Midwest movement is nothing like you, Okay? You destroyed the Midwest movement all with your own single hand. You single-handedly destroyed the Midwest movement, Verb, because of greed, pride, arrogance, cockiness, and look what it got you. Out of everybody in that new Midwest movement who was in that, you basically doing probably worse than everybody that was in that Midwest movement, okay? Let's just keep it 100, man. And that's terrible how... You try to compare yourself to what these guys is, is doing. This new Midwest movement, brother. At least they more unified. At least they more together and ain't jealous and ain't got the jealousy thing going on. See, that was during the time I started liking Bird. You know, I, hey, I'm from Chicago, man. Okay. I love the fact that knowing we finally was getting recognition for our talent, being from the Midwest, seeing that rap is dominated by the East Coast. And we get it. That for the most part, they culture. They culture is hip hop. That ain't just something to listen to. That's that they culture down there. Okay? Though by us being, you know, African Americans and black, we real good with music and talent and gifts like that. You know what I'm saying? So it don't matter where we at in the world, we got the talent. We don't make it a culture, though, like it is on the, on the East Coast. So when we started getting our recognition and battle rap and being, oh, they in the Midwest, they got heat like that? Yeah, we got heat like that. We can go with the best of them. And you better not play no games or you're going to get smoked. So I like that. Midwest Moon. That's how I ended up starting liking Verb and Rex. And I kept track of that Midwest movement and uh, East Coast thing that was going on. The Midwest movement opened up battle rap and made it popular to the point that Smackman was able to get rich off of it. Like Calico was explaining in the Lux battle. That was real. That was true. The only thing about it, the leader was a rat. Verb was a rat. Y'all can't get mad at me for saying it because he literally is on record saying it. He literally on record saying it, but everybody knew it. Go to the X Factor battle. Watch the X Factor and Verb battle. All that stuff get broken down. Watch after the battle when Verb is interviewed. He talks about that's how he lost the battle because X Factor exposed him on being a rat. And he admitted he a rat, he a snake, he a dirty dude. That's when he start. That's when he came up with that slogan. They say my name is in that bread. I come put blood in your mouth. He didn't have that slogan. That's that's that uh that saying at first. He created that saying as a result of crossing the Midwest movement. So he was saying, it "Ain't about feelings. It ain't about friends. F y'all, man. This is about money. This is about bread." Once he got put in position. When he was in position, it wasn't about that. It was about unity. It was about brotherhood. It was about the Midwest take on the world. When he started getting popular and it started branding, he was put in position. 
Then he went and backstabbed them. All them, I remember all them brothers were supporting him. Calico, Big T, Vic Cannon, man, X Factor, Miles, man, everybody, man, they, they behind and they behind winners. They had killers. And that St. Louis movement was no joke. Them brothers had killers. Killers. And they were taking on New York and were being successful in it. The only one who was keeping them alive was T-Rex. That's how come I ended up liking T-Rex. Because I recognized it. I noticed that everybody was getting smoked behind them dude. Them dude was burning cats. But T-Rex was the only one who was keeping New York alive. And I used to be like, man, I can't stand that dude, man. That dude be hurting us. That's the only one who smoked them, uh, um, who smoked that St. Louis movement and they prime. He did that to them and they prime when they was on fire. He went up against a young eel, a fire young eel, but he turned the tides in St. Louis. He went up against Verb at the height of his game, smoked him for 25K. Did he gave Mook Mook? To kill a nigga that's ill. For that 10K Diddy, I killed it for real. I'm talking about, I was like, oh my gosh, man. Could anybody stop this dude? I was like, I got to give him his credit, man. That dude is a killer. That dude right there, whoever that T-Rex dude is, that dude, that dude, the truth. That's when I started liking him. And I knew Verb was the truth. I'm like, oh, Verb. That's why Diddy put the money up. No. Hold on, I'm blogging. Dang, man. That's why Diddy put that, 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 uh, that money up. Notice, the night Diddy put that money up, it was called the Night All the Legends Return. You had Mook and Iron Solomon and Loaded Lux. Yeah, but who Diddy put that money up on? He put that money up on Rex and Verb. Why did he do that? Because they were the number one dudes in the game. Verb was the leader in that Midwest movement. Rex was holding it down for New York. And they bumped it and they met everybody in the world. This is going to be fire. This is going to be this, this right here for all the marbles. And it was a body bag. Rex put on a 30 body bag. People try to say, oh, you know, Verb ain't get to say it round up. Man, listen, man, I'm a realist. The stuff Verb was saying out his mouth that day, I don't care if the crowd was completely silent. I don't care if they was in a smack volume setting. I don't care if they rapped in a damn closet. That material was not better than the stuff Rex was saying that night. I don't care what anybody say. They just try to make up excuses for him because he painted that narrative to make it seem as though they don't let me rap. They don't let me rap. Listen, let me tell you something. If you're good enough, they'll let you rap, okay? If you're good, I don't care. Look, they come to get entertained. They come to they come to hear a show. Rap and be good, they'll shut the hell up. Trust me. They, they paid $100 to come see y'all battle, okay? Rap and be good. At the end of the day, they want to be entertained. Rap and be good, they'll let you rap. Rap and be good, they'll let you rap. If you ain't really that good, stop complaining about them not letting you rap, okay? I never bought that trash at all. In the KCJ battle, oh, you see the KCJ battle? They ain't let me rap, brother. They, if they don't let you rap in a KCJ battle, that says a lot about you. That don't mean that they hate you. That just means that your material ain't good at all, brother, okay? Why do people lie so much, man? They just cannot tell the truth. They can't pull the wool over my eyes. You can't pimp me with them smart intellectual, persuasive, cunning, sadistic words. Man, please. Get up out of here. That stuff sounds psychotic. Oh, twisted, sadistic words. Really trying to convince us you really snapping and getting down when in reality you're not. Trying to... I ain't never that. Come on, man. I ain't never that. Sorry. Back to this Midwest movement thing. That's what made me mad about it. He betrayed it. I watched it. I'm watching it play by play. I'm like, I'm like dang, why would dude do that, man? That's how him and Hitman Holler got into it. Let's keep it real. That's how the Hitman Holler and that battle came about. Hitman Holler 
Started networking with Dot Mob now. Yeah, yeah. Let's leave. You gonna talk real? Let's talk real. Hitman Holland started networking with Dot Mob now. Remember that? And he was getting connections and things. Verb didn't like that. But Hitman always knew how to get money. Hitman knew that the power of success was connecting. Though he was on a Midwest movement thing, Hitman Holler still knew this as business. We still need to be plugged with these dudes. These dudes in New York, this is a New York plug. This is where every rapper want to be established that. New York is the Mecca. New York is the Mecca, okay? We already, we got a, we got a, we got a pipeline right here with these guys. Yeah, we can rap against them, but Verb on his sedity high, high, high horse type stuff, like on his apple bottom Chanel, dairy, he on his Darion, man, please. And he got the hating on Hitman. Y'all remember Hitman with Rex and them, talking with Rex and them, kicking it with them? He didn't like that. Hitman was making moves behind the scene, putting himself in position. He started getting, he started hating on that. Then he turned on Hitman Hollow. Yeah, yeah. Turned on, even though Hitman was always there for him, always supporting him. Wanted them, want people to worship him, want people to praise him, want people. That's why ain't nobody in his corner no more. Notice there ain't nobody. Chase don't be there. None of them guys don't be there no more with him. None. He rap by himself now. He, oh, I go to the event. I be, I be solo dolo. I'm all by myself. Right, 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 right. But you started out with 30. 30 turned to 20. 20 turned to 10. 10 turned to 5. 5 turned to 3. 3 turned to 2. Now it's you. Come on, man. That's real. Come on now. Start going against everybody. Start going against them all. Every time Smack them, Smack them gave him that money on purpose. You know why Smack them gave him the money? Because he was all that game he think he got, he wasn't even smart enough to recognize they had just took the game. They just did something nobody was a ever able to do. They took the game from Smack and he didn't even know what to do with it. Smack them destroyed it for they knew what to do with it. Smack destroyed it for they knew what to do with it. They had the whole battle rap community eating out the palm of their hands. And what he would rather do was go to Smack to get uh, uh, advances rather than taking that power and putting himself in position to own things and have things to be his own. He didn't know how to do it. So then guess what? Smack them made him betray his own team. That's a fact. Yeah, 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 I know. Yeah, I know some things. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Smack them knew that. Like, damn, them dudes, powerful. They just took New York. Yeah. The Midwest took New York. Opened up Battle Rap. Them St. Louis dudes had the game on fire. And Rex was the only one standing in New York. But that St. Louis movement was Battle Rap's favorite. They were the favorites. All the power was in their hands. They didn't even know it. They didn't even know it. Verb the leader, no understanding. So what smacked them do? Give him a little money. He broke up the Midwest movement by paying him to go against them. Think about that. Start paying him to go against them. Mm-hmm. That's what happened. That's Calico. He'll tell you. Ask them. They'll tell you. Hitman might have tell you. Hitman might have tell you. Yeah, that's a fact. You could you get up there and talk all that stuff on faces. I can that's the real facts. Paid them the money to go against them boys. Yeah. They know it. And anybody who's been watching it know it. Okay? That's a fact. Then when you see the new Midwest movement, I talked to them, bro. I was calling them brothers. Piranha, uh, Fonz, Trufo. I got the whole list. I was calling them, boy. We put it together. We were finna take on a DMV. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was going to lead the charge. I was going to all. I was gonna supply all the media stuff. URL and them saw what I was doing. They saw what I was caking up. Guess who they pulled to the side? D.I. the Henny Man. Oh, yeah, we were going to get it cracking. Remember, it was going to be the new Midwest movement versus the DMV. 
I was I, look, I was gonna correct what Birmingham did wrong, and I knew how to do it. We were finna make an example out of the DMV. Oh yeah, we were finna make an example out of the DMV. Oh, oh, we were gonna make an example out of the DMV. And guess what? When them boys would be rapping, run them bars through me. Let me hear what you got. Yeah, cause I produce and I write and I know what's fire and I'm the hottest dude in the game when it comes to this battle rap media. Run that through me. Let me hear that. Let me see. Oh yeah, we've been it was finna go down. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This one's finna go down. Okay. We had our starting lineup. This one's finna get crazy. Oh yeah, we had our starting lineup. And we were, we were gonna be together. Smack them saw that. Like, uh uh, uh uh, uh uh. That nigga Battle True, he he know what he's doing. He's we finna make an example out of DI and them. We had the money ready and everything. Yeah, yeah, that's true for them. That D out of any man them, you know. Y'all know too. I called him out on a couple times, like. Smack them. <laughs> hey, hey, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. We not doing it. Right. That's, look, Norbs ain't with them no more. Don't have me bring Norbs on here. <laughs> Don't have me. And I can do it. I bring Norbs on here and talk. Norbs knew what was up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. See, P got the hating. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because he's DMV bias. He DMV bias. Okay, don't even worry about it. <laughs> man, they know, boy. I'm telling you, man. It's, man, leave me alone with this stuff, dog. I'm telling you, man. I what? Come on, man. This new Midwest movement, guys. Them boys knew. Them boys knew where they went wrong at. Them dudes know where the where the, where the old Midwest movement went wrong at. The representative who was the face of it was corrupted. Was corrupted. And he sold them dudes out for money and popularity only to not be able to hold on to it and lost everything. And he think he can get it back. You can't get it back. It's over. Your moot battle was done. Your Lux battle was done. Your hollow battle was done. Your disaster battle was done. Your arsenal battle was done. You can never relive those. You can never get it back. You didn't capitalize off of it. You let the ball drop. It's over. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Of course you're going to do spaces. Of course. It's over. You would never get that back. You didn't capitalize on that. That's another reason why I was so mad at him. Like, oh, what are you doing, man? You want to be in a boss position but don't know how to move or operate like a boss? You want to say you want to be the GOAT and you want to be the best and you sitting up here, 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 sit. Sure, come on, man. Don't get me started on this. No. But again, he is on, man. He could do whatever he want. If that's what you want to do, that, but... Don't get to complaining, whining and crying when you ain't getting what you supposed to be getting. When you ain't getting what's deserving of you. When you ask an ab for battles, begging B dot for battles, but now you battling all these no name of like, oh, come on, man. That ain't I, I wish Lux and Mook them would. I wish Lux and Mook them would. They operate and move like real goats. They operate and move like real ghosts. They not taking them back. They not finna take an Al battle. They ain't finna take a DNA. Still ain't got a Mook or Lux battle. You're lusting them like I'll never do that. <laughs> like, like, no. They not taking that battle. But but he went from Lux to DNA. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Sorry. Absolutely not. Never, ever, no. No, 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 no. Don't know how to move. So them new Midwest West, West, West movement dude, they, they hungry. They determined. The only thing is they are afraid of them boys. They won't give them, they won't let them shine the way that they supposed to shine. They're threatened by them and they don't want to give them their light. Look at the damage they do. Look at the damage Trufo do. Look at the damage Fonz do. Look at the damage LL Coogee do. Look at the damage Piranha do. Look at the damage them dudes do when they're given the opportunity and chance to shine. They threaten of that. They're afraid of that. They don't want them. They don't want them like that. They don't want them shining like that. You can't deny the talent. So they want to contract the guys, put them on the shelf, and just throw crumbs at them. I'm keeping it real. <clears throat> they don't want it. They don't want me talking. Don't get me to talking. Because I'm going to get it to you in the raw. For real.
It is what it is. The new the new Midwest movement, dude. They 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 more loyal. They more devoted. They more understanding. They more connected. They more together. You know what I'm saying? And them dudes, them dudes know how to really talk to each other. They ain't no divas and they ain't no drama queens. You know what I'm saying? Them dudes can back up their talent. They they literally can back up their talent. And they solid on that. You know what I'm saying? And they hungry. And they want it. They just being hated on and not being put in position because of how good they is. So they threatened. So the, 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 the game is threatened by them. Come on now. That's the real truth. Okay? That's the real truth of the matter. Don't compare the don't compare the Midwest movement to the new Midwest movement. Cause let me just tell you this. Talent wise, the Midwest movement is fire. Crazy. If you're gonna say that they were better than them talent wise, okay. You can say that because they're not given the opportunity to flourish, to have the opportunity and advantages that the Midwest movement was given and, 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 and got as a result of how they was branded and building it up. Okay, I give them that. I won't I won't go against that. But when we're talking about unified, when we're talking about loyalty, when we're talking about guys who really got love for each other, the new Midwest movement outdo them any day. I'm just keeping it 100. <clears throat> As a result of who they representative was, who they face was. But if you give them boys the opportunity, if you do a Midwest, if you do a, a, a Midwest card with them dudes starting line up on it, I take them against anybody. I will take them against anybody. They got the they got the best talent hands down. No matter how you look at it, y'all see y'all see who went in them tournaments, huh? Yeah, JC won that that Midwest movement. Funds won that's Midwest movement. What are you talking about? Y'all see what happened and took place? If true folding slip up at the end, he win that. <coughs> but it is what it is. Don't get me talking. Y'all know I, I popped that real. I dare anybody challenge me on what I'm saying. I got I got receipts. <laughs> I got receipts. Text messages, I got receipts. I can call people up on the phone. We ain't going to play them games. But it is what it is, though, man. You know, I mean, people just be lying too much, man. And I get it. I get it. For the most part, you ain't going to tell the truth on yourself. You just hope people don't remember what they know about you. That's what it is. You just hope people don't remember what they know about you. And guess what? I remember. I know about you. That being said, shouts out to the new Midwest movement. All them brothers. You know what I'm saying? I like them dudes. They hate. They be hating on them dudes. They know it. P know it. P P know it. P P P DMB DMV bias. That's all it is, man. I want them dudes to shine, man. That's what it's about. Scatter them dudes. I guarantee you, put them on the card. Who going to beat them? Who going to beat them on the card? Right. It's your boy, Battle Truth. If it ain't my judgment, that's a question. It's yours. Hit the link in the description box. Subscribe to Battle Truth.